Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Ask Rob Trek where I try to answer your questions from the comments sections of my videos and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. All right, we have a question here from uh, Bernie Stang. It says, uh, video has no sound. I've tried everything. Out of the box, the camera video sound is turned off by default. But how do you turn it on? I'm ready to return this camera. No sound on video. What is the setting to turn it on? Uh, thanks for any help. Okay. All right, so let me get a couple things out of the way. Uh, one is audio is on by default. So there's no way to turn off the camera's internal microphones when you're recording video. The best you can do really is to lower the volume down to or the levels down to negative 10 and that'll minimize audio getting into the the video but it doesn't actually turn anything off uh, usually people have a problem when they're trying to record audio with an external microphone and that's where we can you know check a couple of settings to make sure that we are able to record audio when we're using an external microphone so I'll, we'll look at that as well and then uh, a couple of things you need to be aware of is there's actually no audio recorded in a few modes on the camera. So if you're recording in the high speed mode, you know, the 120 frame per second, full HD, or um, in slow motion, no audio is recorded. So that may be just the issue right there if that's what you're trying to do. But let's look at the uh, microphone settings or sound recording settings in the camera and make sure we have all those set up because there's typically there's a problem with the external microphones more often than the internal. All right, so the first thing we'll do is just put the camera in the movie mode so we get the right live view that shows us our level meters. So as you can see on the far left, the level meters are reacting to the sound of my voice as I'm talking. Uh, so let's go into the menu. And we want to go over to the movie menu here and then tab over to page five, sound recording settings, click OK. And then recording volume, click OK again. And for the built-in microphone, you can see it's plus or minus zero. So zero is actually the default setting uh, and it will record audio. Now, I don't like to have the levels this high, uh, whether I'm recording internally or using an external mic. So I'm gonna turn this down to about negative three until my voice, you know, uh, the levels don't bounce over that number 12 or negative 12 dB. Uh, it may peak a little bit time to time, but this is about the, what I found to be about the right level. And then if we go into the external microphone settings, you can see nothing's happening right now uh, because I've not uh, plugged in the external microphone yet. So uh, we'll come back to this shortly. All right, now looking at the rest of these settings very quickly, volume limiter basically helps reduce clipping when your audio gets too loud. Uh, it works okay. Wind noise reduction, I always keep this turned off because um, it, it degradates the sound quality of your recordings. So I'd rather, if I'm going to do any kind of noise reduction, I'm going to do that in post-processing. The recording rate I found 4816 is perfectly fine. Uh, you can play with the higher bit rate that's available to you if, uh, if that gives you better audio. And then plug and power, the default setting is off. And this may be your problem if you're uh, having issues with recording audio on an external microphone. Uh, so generally speaking, condenser microphones, you need to have this turned on. Uh, microphones that have their own internal battery or like the wireless microphones like the Rode uh, Video Go or whatever they call it, those you can leave this turned off. But for most on-camera like condenser microphones, boom microphones, lavalier microphones, these all need to have the plug-in power turned on. So I'm going to turn this off for now and let's plug in our microphone. All right, the microphone jack is located here on the top left of the camera. It's a standard uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. And I have a uh, just a basic condenser boom microphone here on top. And the microphones usually come with a couple of different kinds of cables. You know, make sure you use the right cable. So for the OM-1 or, you know, really any camera, uh, you want to make sure you use the TRS microphone cable, which means it has two black rings on either end. That's your standard TRS microphone cable. Yeah, your microphone may also come with a TRRS cable, in which case you'll have one end typically is going to be two rings, and then the other end is typically going to be three rings on it. And uh, sometimes, depending on the microphone, you would plug the three ring side into the microphone and the two ring side into the camera, and that might work, or the other way around, it might work, but 
most of the time, this cable is not going to work with your camera. Uh, it's all going to depend on the microphone because some microphones have a little switch for, uh, you know, physically changing the output of the cable so that it doesn't matter if it has two rings or three rings. But most microphones that you get uh, are simple condenser microphones, and you're just going to use the TRS two ring microphone cable. All right, let's go ahead and plug the microphone in. I got one end already done. Plug the other one in. Now let's go to the live view. Now, even though I have the microphone plugged in, you'll notice that the level meters are not moving at all. Uh, and that's because we need to turn on the plug-in power for these standard condenser type microphones. So let's go into the menu, go into sound recordings again, and then go down here to plug-in power, and then we'll turn this on. Now let's go to recording volume and go to microphone, and this is for our external mic. And then I need to point the microphone directly at me because, uh, you know, these boom mics are directional. And you can see that the uh, levels are very, very low, even though I have it pointed at me and I'm very close to the microphone. So let's go ahead and turn up the uh, levels. And let's try plus five. All right, that didn't help much, but it's a little better. And then... Uh, Let's see, now we're at the maximum input level for this microphone. So even at its maximum setting, this particular microphone is not very, very sensitive. So uh, I'm not able to get really an adequate volume level uh, in camera. So I'm going to have to turn this up in post-processing. Now I've attached the wireless microphone to the camera. So this is the uh, receiver end. And then here is the transmitter or the microphone. And as you can tell by the level meters, it's really hot, right? It's a little bit too loud. So we just need to go into the menu and go to sound recordings, recording volume, and then just adjust this down until we get right around to about 12 while I'm talking. So looks like negative four is about right for this particular uh, microphone set and position of my microphone. And I want you to notice that, um, let's go back out to this menu. We can go down here to plug in power and turn this off. And if I go back to the recording volume, you can see that it's still recording audio, even though I turn the plug in power off. And again, that's of course, because wireless microphones have their own internal batteries and don't require power from the camera. So hopefully one of those things will solve your problem about getting audio into your camera. Either the plug-in power is turned off when you're using an external microphone, or maybe you're recording in a high speed or slow motion, or maybe you have the wrong cable for your external microphone. Uh, but either way, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, consider buying me a coffee or make a small donation on links below because they help me to continue making videos like this, and they're greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.